Hello, my crafty goblins and ghouls. I hope you're having a bootastic day. Welcome to day eight of the 13 days of Halloween series. In honor of Dia de los Muertes, Day of the Dead, I have created this sugar skull groom using a digital file that I purchased from inkon3.com. After the review, we will make it together. Let's get started. I had a lot of fun mixing in the pastel colors. Also, too, the mixture of patterns was quite different for me, but I think it all works out quite nicely. The skull measures eight inches from the top of the hat to the bottom and six inches across. I used a purple cardstock as the base of the paper, and as you can see, it's popping out from behind the decorative layers. I lined this with purple rhinestone trim. Let me give you a closer look on the side. This is a side. I've cut out two leaves in Cricut Design Space in black and in this blue stripe. I added in this little purple spider to match the spiders that are on the hat. And then I used the combinations of a pale pink flower and a lavender flower. And then I glued in this sparkly skull, which I thought was reminiscent of a sugar skull. And I've included this light blue rhinestone pearl, which I think really is a nice contrast to this pink. And the back here gives you a better perspective of the different textures. On the bottom, I have this light peach paper and it's got gold foil spider rubs on top. And I contrasted that with a dark purple spider pattern on the top. I did add this black band around the hat that was not included in the file. And on the face, I used this purple rhinestone, which I think really added to the drama of this overall project. Let me show you inside. On the inside, I have some orange LED lights. However, you can put in candy or a small gift as you like. Because I have vellum on the eyes, I'm planning to use this as a luminary. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see what this looks like in the dark. This is the way my skull looks when the lights are turned down. I love the orange glow behind the skull. I just think this is a really fun project. Now that we've reviewed the project, let's grab our materials and make it together. I have gathered the materials to make our skull groom. I purchased a digital file from Ink on 3 and this design is created by Florette Bloom. When you download your digital file, you will receive a menu for the Dia de los Muertas SVG kit. This contains a variety of projects, and today we are going to be focusing on this character right here, which is the skull. We're going to be making the skull as well as the top hat. For this project, I decided to go in a different direction, and since it is Dias de los Muertas, where they usually have bright colors, I decided to use a more pastel Halloween paper stack. And this is by Craft Smart, and it's called Pinkaboo. I really love the colors. These are not my traditional colors that I work with for Halloween, but I'm excited about the way these pieces are going to turn out with this collection. These are the pieces to make the skull. There are six individual pieces, and there is a number that's cut into each piece. I've gone ahead and marked it in black so it's easier for you to see. We have two, three and four, five and six. Now four of the pieces are exactly the same. The only two pieces that are different are the front two panels where the eyes, mouth and nose are. Before you start, I suggest that you bend along the score lines. This skull is going to be curved, so it's very important that you do the bending before you start doing any of the gluing. The other thing I've also done is use a marker and I've edged along the score lines here just to give it a bit more definition. Also, if you're using a piece that has a white core, it'll help to camouflage that white core. So I have taken this piece, I'm going to bend this top piece back. The center piece here is going to be bent down, and then we're going to bend these pieces up just like so. Okay, so your piece should look just like this. And you want to go ahead and do that for each of these six panels. To save time, I've gone ahead and glued on the vellum inserts on the two front panels. For this project, I will be using my handy dandy art glitter glue. I absolutely love this glue. Please be sure to check the description box below to see how you can receive a 10% discount on purchases at artglitter.com. 
So now we're going to start gluing the pieces. We're going to start with piece one and two. We're going to glue this piece to this first tab right here. So it's going to be just like so. So for this first piece, you want to make sure that you get a good anchor. And it's very important that you line the pieces up just at the score line. And you want to make sure that the top part is even because there's going to be a hat resting on top of it. And then you want to go ahead and glue on the rest of the panels. You're just going to do a few at a time. Okay. And I'm just pushing my finger against the tabs in the back right here. So they have a nice strong hold. And I'm curving the pieces. And you'll see that they fall into place fairly naturally. And then work your way down to the last tab. So now you want to go ahead and glue on the third panel. Again, making sure that the top is perfectly aligned. And then go ahead and glue on the rest of the tabs. Okay, so now let's glue on tab four. So we're gonna put glue here along these tabs, this little tiny area here, and you wanna leave alone this area here. You don't wanna bend it back. Now this is the front part of the skull, so you wanna make sure that you take your time here. We're gonna glue this just like we did the other two pieces. Give this time to hold. Work your way down. And I'm just running my finger back and forth to make sure that the seams are attached. I'm just pushing these seams together as best I can. I'm gonna finish gluing on the rest of these pieces and then we can put on our decorative panels. So we have all of the panels glued on. Now we can go ahead and close up the skull. Now we have our skeleton head closed up. Let's turn it over and we're gonna fold these tabs down. I'm gonna turn it back over and grab one of these pieces and we're gonna put that right in the bottom of the skeleton. So let's put some glue on the perimeter and you want to make sure that you cover up your desktop so that you don't get glue all over it and this is going to go right in the bottom here and you want to take your bone folder and press down on the tab to make sure that there's a good strong adhesion okay and then you want to turn it over and then we want to take this piece here and this is going to finish off the bottom and just line it up Again, I'm going to flip this over and use my bone folder just to make sure all the tabs are glued down. So here's our skeleton. He's looking pretty nice. Now we can go ahead and glue down our decorative panels. And I have them laid out here. So the two pieces will go in the front. And then you've got two pieces that are the same and the other two pieces. So let's go ahead and add some glue. You want to make sure you get that little tiny area right there. And we're going to glue this right into place over here. And there should be a slight border around these panels. You want to make sure you give this top piece time to hold. Just make sure all the edges are securely glued down. Okay, so let's glue on the other side of the face. We're going to glue that right on. I'm going to finish gluing on the rest of these pieces and then I'll be right back.
Our skeleton head is now complete, so we can set this aside and we want to start working on the hat. Unfortunately, when I was making the top of the hat, my camera stopped recording, so I did not get this piece on film. However, I have gone ahead and cut out some sample pieces. Now, to make the hat, you will receive these two panels, and they're identical, and you'll also receive decorative panels to put on the top. That's what these pieces are. So you want to make sure you go ahead and score along all of the fold lines, ink your edges, and then we're going to attach these two pieces together. And you want to make sure that you get this right up to the edge, and you want to make sure that these score lines are in line with one another. Now you want to glue these tabs together to close up the top of the hat. Okay, and now what you want to do is flip this over. You're going to glue this piece onto the bottom of the hat. Okay, and that's what we've done here. We've glued on the panels and we've glued on this piece along with the decorative panel. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. Now that we have the top part of the hat completed, let's flip this over. And we're going to fold in these smaller tab pieces and you want to grab your brim. Now I've already gone ahead and put the decorative piece on the brim. I'm going to flip this over and put this on top of the hat right at the edge. Okay, then you want to fold these tabs up and then you want to glue them down. So I'm going to start putting glue on each of these tabs and you want to glue them down to hold the brim in place. Okay, and you want to make sure everything is nice and flushed. And work your way around the perimeter of the hat. And then to finish off these edges, you want to glue this piece and you can even put this decorative panel on. Let's put that panel on now. And we're going to glue this down. And there should be a nice little border, just like all of the other pieces around this. Okay, now we want to put glue on the back of this. And we're going to line this up just like so. So this will have a nice finished edge on the top and the bottom. And this should fit perfectly. There's our hat. Now, I do want to put one last little decorative detail. In your file, you get this little mustache, which you can place right here. So I'm going to put glue on this piece here. Okay, and I'm going to put this right here, and then we're going to glue this one down on the other side, right here. Our hat is complete, and our skeleton is complete. Now we just need to decorate the brim of this. I'm going to do that offline, and then I'll be back with the finished project. I've completed my Dia de los Muertos groom skull and I absolutely love the way this turned out. I'm going to turn off the light so you can see what this looks like in the dark. This is the way my skull looks when the lights are turned down. I love the orange glow behind the skull. This concludes my review of the Dia de los Muertos groom skull. Please join me tomorrow for day nine where I share the bride that I created to go with this groom. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell. Also, stop by and visit my friends Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking and Michelle Randolph from Shabby Chic Chick to see their spooky Halloween creations. Thank you so much for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now, and happy crafting. Mm -hmm.